Whitetail Institute of North America presents Scent Blocker Most Wanted. Brought to you by the Whitetail Institute of North America. Research equals results. Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Matthews Archery. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Scent Blocker. Nothing gets you closer. And Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Hi folks, today I'm at Bass Pro Shop, and what's on my mind today? Well, I'm picking up seed to put in the ground from Whitetail Institute. You know, with all the rains we've had and all the high water, it's finally starting to break. And with that said, we definitely need seed in the ground for them late season bucks. Hey, and talking about the late season bucks, that's exactly what you're going to see on today's show. All right, I'll tell you what, here, here's what happened. It was a gnarly little hole I had to shoot through. We found some good red blood over here, but we're going, because it's a big deer and I'm pretty dang excited, I just want to give him a chance to lay down if he can, get a cup of coffee maybe, come back and see if we can find that big boy. We're going to be hunting with Chopper in the Golden Triangle, big buck country, Pike County, Illinois. You know, this farm in Pike County is Chopper's pride and joy. He spends a lot of time and energy making certain that this farm is a haven for whitetails. This is bluff country with deep ravines filled with mature stands of hardwoods like oak and hickory. But he turned the ridge tops into lush food plots of Whitetail Institute Imperial Clover and tall time tubers. You know, we've also got another hunt coming up from Big Buck Country. That's right, Northern Missouri. Gabe Small is a land specialist with Premier Farm Realty Group and a lifelong outdoorsman. Well, here we are, December 11th, uh, back up Northeast Missouri on my farm. I'm um, looking for a little change of luck tonight. It's only quite a bit this year and I've just not been able to get within bow range of any of these mature bucks. Um, they do come to feed. I think this is a pretty good bet that they're gonna come here. Hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed and get lucky tonight. And when Gabe sent us this footage from his own farm in Scotland County, Missouri, we just knew we had to be showing this to y'all. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I hope you enjoy it. But for right now, I gotta get to work and get this cart filled. Scent Blocker's Most Wanted is brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras, a camera for every need and budget, and Premier Farm Realty Group and Auction. Own a slice of America's heartland. Scent Blocker Most Wanted is brought to you by Element Archery, built to hunt and Thorn Broadheads, driving accuracy through hidden blade technology. All right, it's uh, December 9th, Pike County, Illinois. Temperatures finally turned cold. It's in the mid 20s, I would say, three o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, Ryan's been getting a uh, some trail cam pictures of a, a real nice buck. So we hopefully, gonna, he's gonna show up tonight. We're hunting over a food plot 
uh, White Tail Institute, Institute uh, Tall Tine Tuber, so we're going to wait and see what happens here. Should be a good afternoon. Temperatures are right. I'm ready. down in the corner that's the one we want man he's down there right in the corner can you get him hold on a second, hold on a I can't see him yet I can't see him hold on okay hold on hold on hold on Semplocker's Most Wanted is brought to you by IM Performance Nutrition, fueling the outdoor athlete, and Matthews Archery. Semplock Most Wanted is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, and Kirsch Targets, train smart, finish strong. down in the corner that's the one we want man he's down there right in the corner can you get him That's what 
one we were after. That's the one on the, that's that big boy that was on the film, right? I mean, he's huge. I hope to God we got him. <laughs> We give him about an hour. We looked at the footage. The footage looks good. That's such a big deer. I want to make sure though, because I had to shoot through some gnarly stuff. I'm gonna leave Ryan in the tree, and I'm gonna get down and go see what I can see on the ground before we both pop down there. So he took off with a pretty good head of steam. So you stay here, buddy. I'm gonna get down and see if I can see anything. It looked good, but. Never know till we, till we look. Oh yeah, wow. Would you look at the horns on that beast? Would you look at the, look at this beast? He's everything and more than what I thought from the trail cam pictures. My God, look at that bladed brow tie, unreal. And this one's got a curve to it. Heck of a nice 10 pointer. Good Lord, what a deer. I can't believe how lucky we were to see this one. You've been having him on trail cam pictures for probably two months, maybe. For God's sakes, and to go get one particular most wanted deer, that's, that's a special prize in anybody's world, especially a deer hunter's world. What an awesome deer, what an awesome hunt, unbelievable. The mass is just beautiful. I just can't believe it, unbelievable. I mean, it's just a, it's a dream come true to get that big boy this morning. Unreal. Chopper's a happy man today. My God, Pike County, Illinois does it again. One of the most famous deer capitals in the world. And they produce some big boys, unbelievable. Wow, what a great buck. And that's exactly why we keep heading back to Pike County, Illinois. But you know, right after that, we're going to another place that grows a lot of big mature buck. That's right, Northeast Missouri, Scotland County. You know, this is a place that for year after year produces giant buck. So don't go away. We're gonna be right back with more Scent Blockers Most Wanted right after this. Scent Blockers Most Wanted is brought to you by Pure Whitetail, one deer directly to one bottle. And Old Oaks Outfitters, Indiana's premier hunting destination. Scent Blockers Most Wanted is brought to you by Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Mossy Oak, it's not a passion, it's an obsession. Tree Spider, the new world of tree stand safety. The Heartland Archery Series, made by hunters Four Hunters, Finlayson Lake Resort and Campground, making your dreams real, and Doug Myers Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of Scent Blockers Most Wanted. Well, it's December 11th today. We're back up here on my farm in Northeast Missouri. Uh, we're gonna go out tonight and hunt over an alfalfa field. Uh, it's been cool, but it's kind of warmed up today. It's in the mid 40s. And we've been getting pictures of a couple of different bucks on the most wanted list using this alfalfa field. One of them's a real nice nine pointer. I'd really like to get a shot at, but uh, the one I think we're gonna see is a, just a kind of a big old gnarly buck out of a little bit of mass to him. But been getting a lot of pictures of him out on this alfalfa field here in the last week. So we're gonna go out there and uh, climb up in a tree, sit back and uh, hopefully get a crack at one of them tonight. For Gabe, it's been a lifelong dream to hunt for whitetails on his own farm. And this little slice of paradise in Scotland County is the kind of farm that big mature bucks and hunters dream of. Located just 10 miles outside of Memphis, Missouri, and less than five miles from the Iowa border, this 140 acres in Scotland County lays smack in the middle of big buck territory. 
It features 87 acres of tillable land under contract with a long established farmer paying 150 an acre. The remaining 53 acres is made up of mature timber. Excellent roosting for the large turkey population as well as some TSI areas to provide bedding cover for deer. There are several other hidden gems on this farm, including two stocked ponds, perfect for a lazy afternoon, and three established food plots that provide excellent hunting and plenty of funnels to help put a cruising buck in range. Top it all off with a comfortable cabin, featuring a wood-burning stove water and electric service, and plenty of room to store all of your gear. Well, here we are back up northeast Missouri on my farm. I'm looking for a little change of luck tonight. It's only quite a bit this year and I've just not been able to get within bow range of any of these mature bucks. Um, my most wanted list has definitely taken beating since rifle season uh, all summer long and in, in, you know, up into 1st of November I was getting pictures of about six mature bucks pretty regular right here on this farm. Uh, since rifle season I've only gotten pictures of two of them. Uh, there's a big bedding area off here behind me. Um, that these deer, you know, they're, they're coming out of, coming right into this alfalfa field. We're real close to where they bed at, so um, I feel like they could definitely be out here in the daylight today. Um, it's a lot warmer today than it has been. I'm sure that ain't going to help anything. It's up into the 40s today. Well, it's an encouraging sign. It's only 3.30. It's still real early. We've already got a couple does out in the um, grass field out here, corn stubble grass field. Um, they're already out there feeding, so um, makes me feel a little better. I was kind of thinking we weren't going to see any tonight with it being as warm as it is. So, um, hopefully we get lucky when these big boys comes out here tonight. We'll see what happens. That's the gnarly buck we've been chasing. Uh, he was basically the first deer to come out on the alfalfa field tonight. I passed up that buck about six or eight times last year uh, as a three-year-old. And I've, he's been the most visible buck on the farm all year, camera-wise. Um, he seems like he's out all the time in the daylight. Uh, it's the first time I've got a crack at him, or actually got to see him this year. Uh, He's a good deer. I think he's broke off a couple of his points already, but uh, I don't care. It's the first mature buck I've had in uh, in range this year, so I'm really excited. Uh, it's been a been a crazy year. It's just qu crazy how quick it can change. That buck come out uh, where I've never seen a deer come out before. Uh, turned and he was walking up. I guess he was just going to go on through the alfalfa field. I don't know if he was looking for does or what, but uh, a lot of fun. Uh, 51 yard shot put him right down on his, don't know exactly where I hit him at, but uh, he didn't go anywhere. So that's about as good as it gets. I'll be able to drive the buggy right to him. So uh, he was uh, one of the bucks on our most wanted list. Uh, I'm excited to uh, put an arrow in him and I uh, can't wait to get out there and see what he looks like. Well, here it is, December 11th. I was finally able to catch up with one. Uh, this buck 
is a buck that I've got some history with. I passed him up six or eight times last year. Uh, this year he put on some mass, uh, got another year older, so we put him on the most wanted list and uh, started getting hundreds of pictures of him all year long. I've uh, been chasing him all year. Figured I'd catch up with him a little sooner than this, but uh, that's okay. Uh, this is the first time I've actually seen him all year. Um, had pictures of him out on this alfalfa two or three times this week. So uh, I knew he was in the area. We had some warm temperatures today. I figured these greens might be the ticket for this evening. So come in this afternoon, move to stand around, and it turned out to be the right move. He come out, first deer on the field, about four o'clock, uh, gave me a 50 yard shot. I was able to make it and he didn't go anywhere. So it turned out to be a pretty good night. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did bringing it to you. So for Bob Richardson and all the Most Wanted team, we'll see you somewhere next week right here on Scent Blocker's Most Wanted.